Hydroponics versus Soil, the ultimate farming showdown. Hey everyone, it's your name here and today, we're diving into the world of farming, but with a twist. We're talking about hydroponics versus traditional soil farming. Which one is better? Well that's like asking if a screwdriver is better than a hammer. It all depends on the job you're trying to do. So whether you're an experienced farmer looking to try something new or a total newbie who just wants to grow some fresh lettuce in their apartment, this video is for you. We'll break down the key differences between these two awesome farming methods, talk about the pros and cons of each, and by the end, you'll be able to decide which one is right for you. Now before we build our epic hydroponic setup complete with lasers, just kidding, maybe... Okay, let's start with hydroponics, which sounds way more complicated than it actually is. But trust me, it's a fascinating and straightforward way to grow plants. Imagine this, you've got your plants chilling in a special setup, but instead of soil, their roots are soaking in a nutrient-rich water solution. This method allows the plants to absorb nutrients more efficiently. It's like giving your plants a refreshing bath, but this bath is packed with all the good stuff they need to grow big and strong. The water solution is carefully balanced to provide the perfect mix of nutrients. But the cool thing about hydroponics is that we're basically hacking the system. We're bypassing the need for soil and delivering nutrients directly to the roots. We're delivering all the essential nutrients directly to the roots through the water, so no soil is needed. This makes the process cleaner and often more efficient. And the best part, because the plants have constant access to these nutrients, they grow like crazy. This method can lead to healthier and more robust plants. We're talking 25 to 30% faster growth compared to traditional soil farming. This means you can harvest more frequently and get more produce. Plus, it's incredibly water efficient, using up to 90% less water than soil-based methods. This is a huge advantage, especially in areas where water is scarce. There are a bunch of different hydroponic systems out there from simple setups you can build at home with some PVC pipes to super high-tech ones used in vertical farms. Each system has its own benefits and can be tailored to fit different needs and spaces. Alright, now let's talk about the OG of farming good old-fashioned soil farming. This is the method that has been the backbone of agriculture for centuries, providing food and sustenance to civilizations throughout history. This is the method that's been around for centuries and it's all about growing plants in, you guessed it, soil. Soil farming is deeply rooted in tradition and has evolved over time to become more efficient and sustainable. Think of soil as this incredible living ecosystem. It's teeming with life, from tiny microorganisms to larger insects all playing a crucial role in plant health. It's made up of all sorts of organic matter, microorganisms and nutrients that plants need to thrive. This complex web of life within the soil helps to break down organic material, releasing essential nutrients. When you plant a seed in the ground, its roots dig down into this nutrient-rich environment, absorbing everything they need to grow. The roots form a symbiotic relationship with the soil, exchanging nutrients and water. Soil farming is amazing because it's the most natural way to grow plants. It harnesses the power of nature to produce healthy, robust crops. It's how nature intended it to be, and it's a method that stood the test of time. Plus, it's super versatile. You can adapt soil farming techniques to different climates and conditions. You can grow pretty much anything in soil, from tiny herbs to giant pumpkins. The diversity of crops that can be cultivated is truly remarkable. Now, soil farming does have its challenges. Issues like soil erosion, nutrient depletion and pest control can be significant hurdles. It can be more labor-intensive than hydroponics, requiring tasks like tilling, weeding and fertilizing. However, the rewards of a bountiful harvest make it all worthwhile. Alright, now that we've got a basic understanding of both hydroponics and soil farming, let's pit them head-to-head -head in a battle of the growing methods. We'll explore various aspects to see which method comes out on top. Don't worry, no plants will be harmed in the making of this comparison. It's all about understanding the benefits and drawbacks of each method. First up, let's talk growth rate. This is a crucial factor for anyone looking to maximize their yield. As we mentioned earlier, hydroponic plants are like the Usain Bolts of the plant world. They grow incredibly fast. They grow up to 30% faster than their soil-bound counterparts because they're getting a constant supply of nutrients directly to their roots. This efficiency is unmatched. It's like having an all-you-can-eat buffet for plants 24-7. They never have to search for food. Speaking of buffets, let's move on to water usage. This is another area where hydroponics shines. Hydroponics is the clear winner here, using up to 90% less water than soil farming. This is a game changer for areas with water scarcity. Why? Because in a hydroponic system the water is recycled. This means less waste and more efficiency. It's like a closed loop system where the plants take what they need and the rest gets pumped back up to be used again. Next up, space requirements. 
This is crucial for urban farming. If you're working with limited space like a small apartment or urban rooftop, hydroponics is your new best friend. It allows you to maximize your growing area. You can grow vertically, stacking those plants up high and making the most of every square inch. This vertical approach is revolutionary for space management. Finally, let's talk maintenance. Hydroponics requires a bit more technical know-how. You'll need to monitor nutrient levels, pH, and other factors to ensure optimal growth. Chapter 4. The Price is Right for farming. Let's talk money because let's be real, cost is a big factor when you're deciding on a farming method. When it comes to startup costs, soil farming generally has the lower barrier to entry, especially for small-scale gardens. You can literally start with some seeds, soil, and basic tools. Hydroponics, on the other hand, requires a larger initial investment for equipment like grow lights, pumps, and the hydroponic system itself. But hold on, don't click away from this video just yet if you're on a budget. While hydroponics might have higher startup costs, it can actually save you money in the long run, especially when it comes to water. Plus, with hydroponics, you're not dealing with the costs associated with soil amendments like fertilizers and pest control, which can add up over time. Chapter 5. Mother Nature Weighs In Environmental Impact Alright, let's talk about the big picture. How do hydroponics and soil farming impact the environment? Hydroponics gets some major eco points for its water efficiency. With traditional soil farming a lot of water is lost through evaporation and runoff but with hydroponics, that water is captured and reused, minimizing waste. Plus, because hydroponics doesn't rely on soil, it eliminates the risk of soil erosion and degradation, which are major environmental concerns but hold on. Soil farming has some environmental benefits too. When done sustainably, soil farming can actually improve soil health, increase biodiversity and even sequester carbon from the atmosphere, which is like fighting climate change with carrots. Chapter 6. What you're growing? Crop Suitability Showdown. So, you're ready to start your farming journey but you're not sure which method is right for your dream crops? Let's break it down. Hydroponics is a rock star when it comes to growing leafy greens like lettuce, spinach, and kale. Herbs like basil, mint, and cilantro also thrive in hydroponic systems. And if you're a fan of fresh strawberries, guess what? They love hydroponics too. Soil farming on the other hand, is the way to go if you're looking to grow root vegetables like carrots, potatoes, and radishes. It's also ideal for larger fruiting plants like tomatoes, peppers, and even watermelons. But some plants, like those with deep root systems, might struggle in a hydroponic setup. Alright, let's recap the awesome benefits of hydroponics. First up, faster growth. Like we said before, hydroponic plants are like the superheroes of the plant world, growing up to 30% faster than their soil-bound counterparts. That means more fresh food in less time. Next, space efficiency. Hydroponics is perfect for urban farmers or anyone with limited space because you can grow vertically, maximizing your yield per square foot. And let's not forget about water conservation. Hydroponics uses up to 90% less water than traditional soil farming, making it an eco-friendly option for the water-conscious grower. But, and there's always a but, hydroponics does have its downsides. The initial investment can be higher than soil farming because you're investing in equipment like grow lights, pumps, and the hydroponic system itself. Plus, hydroponics requires a bit more technical know-how. Now let's give soil farming its moment in the spotlight. One of the biggest advantages of soil farming is its natural approach. You're working with the earth, nurturing the soil, and creating a healthy ecosystem for your plants to thrive. It's a deeply rewarding experience that connects you to the natural world. Soil farming is also incredibly versatile. You can grow a wider variety of crops in soil, including root vegetables and larger fruiting plants, which might not thrive as well in a hydroponic setup. Plus, soil farming is generally more forgiving than hydroponics. You don't need to be as precise with your nutrient ratios or pH levels, and there's a bit more room for error. However, soil farming does have its challenges. Alright, we've reached the moment of truth. You've heard the arguments, weighed the pros and cons, and now it's time to decide, hydroponics or soil farming? If you're nodding your head furiously and saying, I need more space, I need faster growth, I need to conserve water, then hydroponics might be your perfect match. It's ideal for urban environments, indoor growing, and anyone looking to maximize their yields in a limited space. But if you're thinking, I want to get my hands dirty, I want to grow a diverse range of crops, I want to connect with the earth, then soil farming might be more your style. Ultimately, the best farming method is the one that aligns with your values, your goals, and your lifestyle. Let's take a look at some real-life examples of hydroponic and soil farming in action. First up, we're heading to the heart of the city to visit a vertical farm that's using hydroponics to grow fresh produce for their community. 
Imagine walking into a warehouse, but instead of boxes and forklifts, you're surrounded by towering walls of leafy greens, herbs, and even strawberries, all bathed in the glow of LED grow lights. That's the magic of hydroponics. Now let's hop over to a rural farm that's been using sustainable soil farming practices for generations. Picture rolling hills, fields of vibrant vegetables, and the smell of freshly tilled earth. This farm is a testament to the enduring power of traditional farming methods. So there you have it folks, the ultimate showdown between hydroponics and soil farming. We've covered a lot of ground today from the basics of each method to the pros, cons, and even some real-life farming inspiration. Remember, there's no one right way to farm. Whether you choose to dive into the world of hydroponics or get your hands dirty with some good old-fashioned soil farming, the most important thing is to get out there and start growing. And hey, if you enjoyed this epic farming adventure, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and let me know in the comments which farming method you're most excited about.